Hey guys, I'm here to give you guys a little tour of my tank. So, right before Christmas, I bought this tank, um, it's top fin, it's 29 gallons, got it from PetSmart, um, it was originally 150 got it on sale for 99 really, really good buy, very sturdy tank, comes with everything as far as equipment, as far as the um, filter, not too loud, it actually sounds really good when you're sleeping, um, and then that's the intake of the filter right there. Then over here, Cam also came with a filter. I'm sorry, not the filter. The heater. It came with a heater and it came with a thermometer. The original thermometer it came with um, didn't go well. I put it on the back of the tank and when I turned around, it, was, it fell down and it broke. So I went ahead and bought just a cheap one. It's really, really good actually. And um, it's right here. And also, as you see in the back, that didn't come with the tank, but I bought that separately. That's the cleaner, the magnet cleaner. So, as far as what I have here in the tank, um, the ship, the sunken shipwreck, and the other decoration here with the cute coins and everything in it, I got all of that from Walmart, and it was um, $9 for this one and $9 for this one, and that was about 3 bucks. Um, and then the leaves were from my stepmom, who had some extra stuff that I got from her, and the uh, fish actually love it. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of inf information about my fish. Um, it's been a little difficult of the uh, last two weeks trying to get them to like each other. As you can see right there, they like to chase each other. Um, so I have the little glowfish here. They're... They're the same glowfish, but they're just different sizes. The green one is a glowfish. Um, the pink one right there is a glowfish coming towards us. Um, and then th that pink one, or the fuchsia, should I say, those two are glowfish. And, um, I say that little guy. And, oh, there it is. That one is also the same color pink as the other one. And it's also a glowfish. Not sure that I'm liking the glowfish. Um, they seem to be very territorial and not be friends with anybody else. The white one, I think she's had enough of everybody. She, that is a high-finned glowfish as well. She's see-through, I love her, but she seems to have taken over this little area of the tank and doesn't want anybody near her, but look, they're all by her. So the behaviors of these little ones, the two red barbs right here, they seem to follow each other everywhere. And actually one of them is the only one that likes going in the ship which I was very surprised. I actually also have a loach and a, and a um, placo, but they're inside. They like to hide under here. You can never see them. Um, they only come out at night. Um, and I also have in the back, I don't know if you can see very well right there, kind of hiding, a little brown speck with a stick nose. That is called a stick catfish. He pretty much just hangs out wherever and minds his own business. Not these other ones. I gotta kind of get them used to each other. I may have to move some things around in the tank. They are very, very active. Like, they don't stop moving ever. And I'm kind of worried with the clear one. I might have to get another high tail tetra to bring in here because she's by herself and everybody likes to attack her. And I don't like that at all. Oh, and I also have a little neon tetra right there all by his lonesome. I may get him, I'll probably get the hyphen tetra and the neon tetra a buddy coming in here so they can stop being so mean to each other. Um, otherwise, they're pretty, these are all peaceful fish. The only ones which is really surprising is the two red barbs here. They are semi-aggressive, but they don't mess with anybody. They kind of stay on their own. Um, so right now it's 10.30. And it's feeding time for them. So I'm going to go ahead and feed them. I Usually what I have to do with these, because they get so wild if I turn the lights off completely, is I'll turn their tank light off and then turn my light off after. So that they're not completely freaked out when I turn the lights out. Because they will go nuts. But for the first couple of days it was really bad. I felt so bad for them. Here's Green Lantern. He's wild, he's by himself the only green one, so I don't know if I need to get him one too, because he kind of bullies everybody. But yeah, that's my fish tank.
I wish the loach would come out and also the um Placo. The Placo is so cute, but he stays under there. I got him a little weekend feeder that they like to eat. Oh, so also the gravel there is river rock and that's from PetSmart, Petco, PetSmart, PetSmart as well. And over here, I got a live plant. This is the Amazon sword. It's kind of grown a little bit, but not too much, but that's it right there. So yeah, this is my tank and the warmer is excellent. All you have to do, I don't know if you can see up here on the top, yeah, right in there. All you have to do is turn that little knob on the top and it changes the temperature according to whatever you want it to be. It's hard to see, but I have it set on 79. And as you can see, it's perfect because the thermometer right here is on 79 as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do feeding. What I got them for feeding was um, these Na National Geographic Tropical Energy Flakes. They're good for all growing tropical fish. And it enhances their growth and energy, which these are all little ones, so it's going to be good for them. And it's made with whole fish and sustainably sourced ingredients. It has almost everything in there that they need. Lots of protein, fat, fiber, which is good for them. And um, it's pretty, just the little flakes. It's really good. I have, They love it. They really love it. As you can see, once I put the food here they all start going crazy I've kind of trained them as much as I can I had my beta fish trained when I had her but now that these fish are here as soon as they see the see they start going to the top so now it's feeding time I'm gonna go ahead and give them their food once they see the yellow they start to move to the top here they go they all get in the group so this is the little opening on the top here and I just feed them in i try and put some in my hand, but I'm doing this video, so I'm just going to pop some in there. You guys watch. There you go. Okay. And here they go. They love to eat, and everything will get eaten. Everything. And if not, the Playco and the catfish will eat it later. They never let anything go wasted. Oh. Okay, and that is going to be the end of my video. I'm about to turn the lights off and, um, let them get some sleep after they eat, they know it's bedtime, so have a great night.